The Repair Shop's first treasure is a very rare leather shoe sewing machine, which has been stored away collecting cobwebs for over 60 years. The caretakers of this antique are mother and daughter Maria and Layla, but it originally migrated to Australia with their beloved late husband and father, Rosario. Hey, how are you? Hi, Dean. How are you? Playing with the dog, eh? Welcome to the Repair Shop. You friendly? Are you? <laughs> Shall we go and have a look what you guys have bought me? Let's go. Come on, come in. Great. <laughs> Maria and Layla. This is Mayala, resident metal worker. Hi. Hey. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to Pleasure. meet you. How are you today? This is an absolute beauty. The intention of this machine being purchased was for my father to take up a trade as a shoemaker back initially when he was 15 years of age. He was taught by a gentleman called Michele from the village close by in the mountains and balanced making shoes and working on the land. There's a photograph here. So here's Dad here using okay. the sewing machine. Handsome man, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's got good taste, Mum. <laughs> he's got good taste too. What was his name? Rosario. Rosario. Oh. That makes Rosario. Good sense. <laughs> was he the man of your dreams as soon as you met him, or what, what, was there an immediate attraction no, there? No, I, I had a lot of asking. I was going to say, <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be knocking him back, wouldn't you? Every day when he went to work, Instead to go the right way you're supposed to be, you should have a shortcut and pass in the front of my head. Ah, there you go. Ah. There you go. You, you charmed him. You had to make his way through. When's the last time you saw this working? He never used it after he came to Australia. No language. What do you think you do with the machine? So what, what did you do? He put down in the, the storeroom. And Ross become a builder. Ah, right. He built so many houses around the area. Can I ask how long he, he's been gone for? 15 years. It'll be 16 in years. December. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So now he's always in my head. <laughs> I had the other man and I wanted to marry me again. He <laughs> said, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I never threw any little thing of what he left. If we could get this machine aesthetically as close to its condition that it was, would be an absolute privilege. Remember, nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. Nice and shiny, so shiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. beautiful. <laughs> but now we put it in the storeroom downstairs. So what would it have to look like to make it upstairs? <laughs> so I got the entry, and for the moment I got the statue there. Okay. If that's beautiful, mm -hmm. I'll put it there and I'll look every day. Okay. When you finish and I really like it, I'll come here and I'll cook you a beautiful dinner. Ah, <laughs> perfecto. Cosa vuoi? Gnocchi? Yeah, gnocchi. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> On the way to my heart. Ross, you'd probably be very happy. But unfortunately, I can't tell him. <laughs> Over at the metal working bench, Mayella is hard at work, removing the rust off Rosario's antique shoe sewing machine in preparation for a shiny new paint job. The most important part when wanting a gloss paint, the glossier the paint is, the more the imperfections come out. So I made sure that I really carefully took off all the rust. And this is the first coat. The machine has been downstairs for years. It had vintage dust on there. Now that it's highly glossy, hopefully it brings back the memories of Rosario right at the front entrance where Maria wants to put the machine. Now with components all cleaned up, Mayella can reassemble the machine and test drive the mechanisms. Maria brought this machine in and one of the things she was saying, she would like it to look how it was when it was brand new. But as a surprise, I think we're also gonna get it fully working for her. So the mechanism, let's have a look in the inside. Everything is nicely oiled and moving again. I've put the wheel back onto the shaft. This is translating the movement there. We can see the motion. That travels over here. And then through here, we're going to put a little bit of thread. The thread will travel down there. There's a bobbin in there. And when you actually sew, hopefully that'll pick up the thread. And then you have a stitch. Having movement in the mechanisms is an exciting discovery and means that the machine is one step closer to being fully operational. Now all we need is a gramophone playing some Italian music. La dolce vita. Life is sweet. There's just one more missing piece to the puzzle. The machine is powered by the foot treadle and for it to function, a leather belt is required to connect it to the machine. And 
And if it all goes to plan, Layla and Maria will be receiving a very special surprise.